Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video, we're going to talk about one of the top of the line combos from the climb line for snowmobiling. This is called the Keweenaw, Keweenaw jacket, Keweenaw pants. Jacket comes in three colors, including black. Pants come in all black and they are a full bib. Both the jacket as well as the pants are 359. They're Gore-Tex Performance Shell. So basically, let's start with the exterior. It's beefed up nylon. It has the Gore Performance Shell, which is built into this guy. Waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life. If it ever leaks, you call Climb, you call Gore-Tex, they repair or replace it for free. What does the breathability factor mean? It means when you start to sweat, this is a very warm outfit. It has a thermal insulation built into it. It's gonna allow body, body heat, water vapor, sweat, perspiration to come off of your body, evaporate out through the, uh, out through the, the membrane, the Gore-Tex membrane in the uh, garment, and basically keep you from getting clammy. Clammy leads to cold. You wanna not be moist, you wanna be as dry as you can be while staying warm. Now looking at the exterior of this guy, this is the granddaddy. This is, this is if the impulse is entry level, the climate's the mid-range, this is the high-end guy. Increased functionality throughout. You have a lot of 3, 3M reflective piping throughout. You have additional chest pockets here. You have hand warmer pockets. You have a cinch basically inside this pocket that cinches at the waist. You also have a cinch underneath this flap. Look right here on the hand. This is one of my favorite things. It's a hand gaiter. So basically this nylon piece is connected to the sleeve. You put your thumb through, it goes into your glove, creates that, it covers the gap between your wrist and your glove where snow could enter the garment. There's no way for snow to get up your sleeve past this gaiter. Notice here, look at the front. Let's talk, keep talking about waterproofing here. It's a double storm, cap, storm cuff closure with a water, water uh, rain gutter here. And then you have your zippers going to be your weak point. So it's double cuff, it's YKK, it's very durable and then it's gonna be waterproof with this double flap over the top of it. Spin around backwards for me, Anthony. Notice we have reinforcement on the impact areas, shoulders, elbows, there's light padding in the sky. It's not necessarily protective padding, but it's just built in because it's a heavy garment to keep the shape of it. Increased 3M across the back. You also have an, an event here, an exhaust port out the back. That's a big step up over the climate. You're gonna get that, that airflow coming out of the garment. Turn and face me, lift your left arm. Spin 300, no, I'm just kidding. But if you look under here, one of the other things that you notice, and it's a ski and snowboard thing, water resistant zipper, flat back, it's gonna be your pit zip on both sides. They find that this is the easiest way to get air into the garment without compromising the waterproofness. Now granted, if you open up something that big under your arm and it's tons of snows coming down or it happens to be freezing rain, it will get in, but under your arm is the best place to keep it, to, you know, to keep this waterproof or this garment waterproof. Spin back and face the camera for me. Other thing I want to talk about is the mapping of the Thinsulate. It's 200 gram Thinsulate, which is the same that we saw in the climate, but this uses zone mapping. So what that does is it beefs up the Thinsulate on the front and back, and it articulates it and makes it slightly thinner on the arms and under the, under the, uh, under the sides. What that means is when you're standing active riding conditions, if you're fighting in powder, if you're not just cruising along on a trail, you know, enjoying the ride, what it's going to do is give you better range of motion. You're going to be fighting the jacket left, less. Because this is a technical jacket, there's a lot to it, and if it was the same level of thin slate throughout, it might be a little bit stiffer. So it's giving you that benefit of better range of motion. Let's open up the front really quickly here. Pull this bad y, big YKK down and you're going to see the bib behind it. But I also want to show there's a powder skirt here. So it goes all the way around, button, it snaps and Velcro in the front. Underneath it, you're going to see the climb logo right here. It's rubberized. It creates a seal between your pants and your jacket creates that snow skirt. You see it in snowboard clothing. You see it in ski clothing. It's for sure involved in snowmobile clothing. It's gonna keep any of that snow from coming up the inside. Taffeta lining. There's a lot of pockets in this guy. It's iPad or iPod compatible. You're gonna have loops here for your earbuds that shoot up. Notice that it's, uh, it's a silver cool Thinsulate on the inside, it's antimicrobial, it's going to wick sweat from your body, and it's going to make sure that it stays antibacterial, antimicrobial, it's not going to smell. So let's pull the jacket off you now. So now we have the Keweenaw bib. Again, this is the top of the line bib from climb up to sizes up to 3X. $359 for this. Again, Gore-Tex Pro Shell, it's going to be completely impervious to water. Notice that you have the straps that would go over the shoulders off this non-removable bib that is stretched on the side, so it's going to give you some room to move and allow you to beef up the base layers that you would wear this without losing that flexibility. Nice part about this is you have the double head zipper here at the top that's storm flat back. Notice that insulated membrane here on the inside, that insulation is built in. But when you do this, it's much easier to get these down off your shoulders. In years past, they had this bib, it didn't have this zipper on the front, and what you do is it's much harder to get in and out of this guy. And there's also, you know, up here, very easy to operate tabs to, to unlock that guy as well. 
on the front of this pant, as I crouch down, you notice on the side, you have a two-way zipper along the side, starts at the bottom, goes all the way up, pull the side down to vent. Notice zipper garages at the top. These are all YKK zippers. Hand warmer pocket here. Anthony, why don't you turn back around, show the back of this guy for me. Notice the reflective down along the backs of the knees. One thing I want to talk about, and you come back around for me, Anthony. The way that this guy's zone mapped with the Thinsulate again, it uses heavier insulation on the front than it does on the back. When you're sitting on a snowmobile, the things you have to worry about are the front of your legs and your seat. Your seat is triple lined. It's gonna have a heavier duty fleece back there. Keep any trans heat transferred from your backside to the seat of the, uh, the snowmobile. The worst thing you wanna do is be wasting energy having your body out of your control be heating up the seat in the snowmobile that's just going to stay cold all day anyway. The front of these guys are lined really well. There's light padding in the knees and there's reinforcement and impact areas. Anthony's wearing the $189 Adrenaline GTX Gore-Tex boots that are climb as well. Their most popular boot. Turn to the left. I want to show the gator and then we're going to be finished with these pants. So I said two-way zipper. There's venting from there. It's got a snap down here. A zipper garage is going to go all the way up. And what I want to show you down here is that basically you have another gaiter basically to go around your boot. It's rubberized. It keeps, it creates that powder skirt effect. You know, this guy, if it was zipped to here, there's no way for any snow to get up that pant leg. Now, if you go up higher, you can start to get access to the jeans or whatever you're wearing underneath. But if you had to vent it or if you were just putting it on and off, you'd lock it out down there and you'd be good to go. All YKK, these zippers are meant to last forever. This stuff is meant to be really durable. You can re see it's reinforced on the insides of the legs as well. You can spin back around for me, Anthony. So again, this is the key one all. This is the top of their thermal series, 359 for the jacket, 359 for the pants. If you have any questions about it, shoot us a line at cs at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. It's over 39 bucks. It's going to ship for free. If you get the wrong size, I mentioned Anthony was wearing a large and a large. He's 6'1", 190. Stuff is meant to fit big. Anthony's typically an XL or 2X in most other brands. If you get the wrong size, shoot it back to us. We'll send you the first size exchange for free, as always. First, first shipment's free as well. And then with anything over 100 bucks at RevZilla.com, earn five bucks back for every 100 towards your next purchase in TeamZilla Cash. It's our program to keep people loyal and help you out if you're gonna buy more than one thing. Lots of people buy a pair of gloves, they buy boots, they buy pants. Over the course of time, you're gonna save some money up to 5% with us. Thanks for watching today. Once again, this is the Climb Keweenaw bib overall pant as well as jacket available at RevZilla.com slash climb.